So does anybody actually know what a circle is? Or do you think you know what a circle is? Well, actually a circle is defined as a whole bunch of points the same distance from one point. As in point B is three away from A and some other point's gonna be three away from A. So it is actually defined as the radius. A whole bunch of points the same distance away. So that distance defines the circle. Now, since the distance defines the circle, anyone remember the distance equation? So distance equals the square root of quantity x2 minus x1 squared plus the quantity y2 minus y1 squared. Well, beautiful, wonderful, we all remember that, right? I actually don't like having squares in uh, equations if I don't have to, and neither do other people. So what they've done is they have uh, squared both sides because squares will cancel uh, square roots. And so D2 is equal to the quantity x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. So that is the equation of a circle because distance defines the circle. Now, let's look at our example. So we had the circle, the radius was three, so the distance is three. So we've got three squared equals x2 minus x1. Well, since b can be anywhere on that circle, uh, all around it, we're just gonna leave that as x. I don't have a number for it. So we're just gonna leave it as x minus x1. What's x1? x1 is the center. I know where the center is. You have to know where the center is to know where the circle is. So x minus 0.65 squared plus and again, the component, the y part of b, y2, I don't know where it is. It could be anywhere, so we just leave it as y. y minus, and what's the y part of a, the center? 1.11 quantity squared. That would be the equation of that circle. Now, most of the time we're not going to write 3 squared, but you can. A lot of times, we'll just change it to a 9. So... Distance defines a circle. What if we don't know R? Well, we can actually find it. You know, like we don't know it for the equation, but we do know that point B is on the circle, and we know that A is the center. I just happen to have another circle here um, that has integer values just because it's nicer. Uh, so, you know, we've got this circle here. Things will slide around. And we can find, well, what's our distance thing? Again, distance squared equals x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. So distance squared equals x2 minus x1, 3 minus 1 squared plus 5 minus 2 squared. That's going to be a 2 squared. That's going to be a 3 squared. 4, 9, 13. So the d squared, again, d is the distance between there. It's r, it's d. So now if we want to write the equation, we know that the distance is 13, d squared is 13. That's also r squared. That's d squared, it's also r squared. Okay. And then we write generically, there's some x somewhere, b has got some x somewhere. So it's over here, I don't know where, where that x is, so it's just x. Minus one quantity squared plus, now the y parts. I don't know where it is, y is over there, over here, um, but I do know that the center is two. So we used the distance formula when we didn't know the radius, and it helped us to find the equation. But you do have to know the center, and you do have to know one point on the circle. Now, that distance formula looks an awful lot like Pythagorean theorem. Um, as a matter of fact. 
It actually is Pythagorean theorem. So here's a tri here's a circle. We got you know traced out there. What if we were to actually find a right triangle? Ta-da! Yes, that right triangle exists everywhere around the circle. There's always going to be a set of right triangles everywhere. Now, they really only help, well, they help us most when we are actually on integer locations as opposed to decimals because decimals get into rounding. Did you use one decimal, two decimals, three, four, you know. So it's nice if it works in integer locations, but yeah, there's always a right triangle in there. So we can do Pythagorean theorem also. So let's pop the Pythagorean theorem. So let's look at this. We don't know the radius, but we do know that from A to F is 2. And from F up to E is 1, 2, is 3. Hey, right triangle, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. 2 squared plus 3 squared equals C squared. Yeah, it's going to come out the same as before, but that's because I'm just using easy numbers and small drawings. 4 plus 9 doesn't necessarily always have to come out 13. Believe me. Um, so that's C squared, which happens to also be R squared. Because C, our hypotenuse, is the radius. So now the equation again. Um, 13 equals, I don't know where F is, so I'm going to have to say X. Minus my center point is 2 squared. Plus, uh, again, Y minus the y part of my center point, y1, squared. Awesome. Um, what if I had something that had a center at the origin? You know, here we go, center there, got a circle around it. Let's say that circle is size 5. Well, again, radius squared equals x minus 0, because 0 is the x part of that, plus y minus 0 squared. Well, x minus 0 is just x squared plus y squared equals 5 squared. Awesome. Yeah, we can say it's 25. We're okay with that. So there you go. So the generic form of a equation will be x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And again, your x and your y's might have what might be called offsets. Where is that center? And these parts here are where is the center? of your circle.